Hello. Join me today as we learn about the magical world of beans and the as they are a major part of our world and are in many dishes that you don't even realize. There are many types of beans including the chickpea bean, pinto bean, and the green bean. Today we'll learn about the history of beans from when they were first cultivated and domesticated. Then we'll learn about the uses and the dishes that beans are in as well as the nutritional importance they have. And we'll, then we'll learn about the cultural significance that they hold in our world. According to the bean, uh, Beans, a history, beans were first cultivated in Mesoamerica 7,000 to 8,000 years ago. They were cultivated in a agricultural style known as the Three Sisters. The Three Sisters were corn, squash, and beans. They were grown alongside each other to complement each other and not to degrade from each other. From there, European explorers during the Col Columbian Exchange period brought beans back to Europe, and from there they took off. Beans were a great alternative to meat to communities that did not have access to meat, and due to the variety that they hold, have, they uh, were adaptive to different climates. From there, beans spread to Asia and are seen in dishes such as azuki bean soup, which is a sweet dish enjoyed by many Asians. According to the bean book, there are various dishes that include beans, such as hummus, a dip eaten and seen as a healthy alternative to many other dips, and refried beans, a staple in Mexican culture. Beans not only have many varieties of dishes, but they have various nutritional benefits. Beans are rich in vitamins, minerals, and are a great alternative to meat protein. Not only this, but beans can serve as a thickening agent in soups. From here, we'll explore the different uh, dishes and the cultural significance that beans have in various uh, places. In South America, not only were they important in increasing the population of em the ancient empires of the Maya, Aztec, and Inca, through cultivation methods such as the Three Sisters. They also are still commonplace in many dishes, and the pinto bean especially. This is, they also are a sign of fertility. Over in Europe, according to the Bean Project, the St. John's Festival, people eat Fritella di San Gisape, which is a donut that has beans in it. Not only this, Beans are a sign of good luck and protection to them. One thing we forgot to talk about is the coffee bean. The coffee bean was discovered by an Ethiopian goat herder who noticed his goats getting a little too energetic after eating a red berry. From there, he started adding it to his drinks where he found a burst of energy. This spread to the Persian Empire where coffee houses known as Kave Kane, which is coffee house in Farsi, took place, took hold, where people would enjoy a drink together with their friends and engage in intellectual, intellectual conversations. This is similar to what coffee houses are today, where people go to eat and drink together and they engage in intellectual conversations or work on schoolwork. Coffee today is a large industry with it being grown all over the world in almost any continent and it um, employs millions of workers. Today we explored the various types of beans and their history of the up. We explored the history of beans from when they were grown in Mesoamerica to and brought over to Europe. We explored various dishes that beans are in such as pinto beans, bean and refried beans, and chickpea beans and hummus. We explored the cultural significance they have, like the, the fritella di seguape, a bean donut in Italy, uh, where beans also serve as a sign of good luck and protection. And we explored the coffee bean from its uprising from energetic goats to its billion dollar industry 
that everybody is a part of. Thank you for joining me today as we explored the magical world of beans, and I hope you have a good time eating beans. <laughs> Thank you.